Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer, wherever you have this planetary placement in your chart, claim it if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't force fit. There is sick, thick, dense energy on YouTube. It is worldwide. Also, speaking of worldwide, Cancer, wherever you are on this planet, on this whole entire planet, and whoever you are on this planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we're grateful for your presence. Seriously. So, thank you for taking the time every day to watch us. And whether or not anybody's told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Now, let's hit this. Clearing ground for cancer. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, the Spirit of my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit. Please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of... Hold on a second. Here we go. Cancer. Cancer. Here we go, Cancer. Show me the energy. That's right. Here we go. Show me. Okay, so here we go. King of Cups. Obviously, you... Pisces or Scorpio energy, somebody who's very intuitive, kind, loving, nurturing, sensitive, but more than anything, emotionally mature and balanced. So you could be sitting in this energy. Now, it is a masculine energy. However, everybody has masculine and feminine energy in them. It's not about the genitalia. So this could be a female in her masculine energy. Most likely not. It's probably, some, you know, a male. So if this is not you, this is somebody that's, you know, but that's your energy. Here you go. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away here. Somebody's detaching. With a loving heart, maybe. Somebody's walking away to go find their ninth and tenth cup. This could be a father or a father figure. But somebody very, you know, yeah, they're nice. They're, you know, it's a diplomatic, devoted energy. Somebody, yeah, let's see. Show me. Okay, somebody's like what? They're mountain climbing or something like this? Climbing up some kind of hill? Hiking something. Okay, I'm seeing Koi. Now, look, at the foundation of this situation... Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords obviously can be somebody that's single. Doesn't have to be. But they are clear thinking, responsible, reasonable, disciplined adult. Somebody who thinks about what they do. They're very intelligent. They're very articulate. They already know the truth. They have the sword of truth right there in their hands. And blood has been shed with this one. Okay? This one's been through some battles. So, yeah. You know, so just... <laughs> okay, cancer. Okay. I'm not advocating violence. But, you know, this one will definitely stick a bitch. <laughs> you know, that's just the way. Oh, my God. Spirit and answers don't. Listen. Yeah. I just might. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, somebody's got their eyes on you. Yeah. Okay. So, listen. I see two red eyes. Like, yeah. There's two red eyes here. Trust me on this one. Maybe very. Yeah. All right. Listen. Something's complete. You got the, the universe. The universe is the world. The universe is you got the, you know, you got the assignment. You got the morning memo. You passed with flying college. You got your degree. And now you're off to conquer the world. All right. So I'm seeing an eagle. I'm seeing some kind of a carousel horse. So maybe somebody's going to, um, yeah. Now, oh boy, looky here, looky here, cancer. Uh, all right, you got the king of swords now. Look at this, the queen to the king. So you could have been in a very clear thinking energy at the foundation of this situation, whether you have air in your chart or not. You could have been embodying the energy of the queen of swords. And here you go. Here comes the soulmate. Here they come, here they come. Something you don't see, something you don't, you know, you don't see this coming because, yeah. But, let's see what's going on with this. How are you looking at this? How is Cancer looking at this in their mind's eye? Show me the mind's eye, please. Let them. Well, thank you. Okay, so you're looking at this like, ooh, you're liking this, Cancer. I'm here. it's too hot, too hot. You got an ace of torches. You got some kind of passionate new match lit under your ass. You're enthusiastic about this situation. Yes, you are. You are, you are. Five of Cups in your actual environment right now. Right now, you may be sitting on a pity pot all sad and depressed, crying over spilt milk or past relationships or just thinking that you're like in some kind of lack mindset here on an emotional level. Like, I'm feeling like I'm never going to get love. My cups are empty. What the hell? But I got a news for you. You got somebody coming in hot. Coming <laughs> in hot to trot. They are, Cancer. You got a Prince of Torches. Aries Leo Sagittarius Energy. 
you know. And also, I want to tell you something. This is also Spirit's Advice column, right? You completed something, now go out and live. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, look at this row here, all right? You, you completed something in your life. Go out and enjoy yourself. Be spontaneous. What is the Prince of Torches do? The Prince of Torches goes out and has fun. I'm not saying sleep around like some kind of a slut, but what I'm saying is definitely enjoy yourself. Live brave and, and be enthusiastic and confident and free-spirited and adventurous, you know? Yeah, this is what you have to do. Embrace the moment fully, the moment that you're in, and enjoy it, right? I mean, I'm feeling like a real, like, exuberant, childlike energy, like, with this Prince of Torches. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, okay, so look, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. The most likely outcome is strength. Strength is a good outcome. Strength is about having a lot of self-confidence, overcoming any self-doubt. It's bravery, courage, inner strength. Yeah. So, you know what? You could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe you have a Leo in your chart, but either way, you're coming out of this strong. I'm hearing Kanye West. Uh, that, 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 that to kill you can only make you stronger. Yeah, um, um, something like this. Make you stronger. That don't kill you to make you strong. You're coming out like a lion. Roaring like a lion here. Or you could be dealing with a Leo. This could be this Prince of Torches. In your, you know, but this is the advice. Yeah, you got a five of torches. Leo energy again. So, you know, I don't know what's up with that. Some of you could, there could be a lot of, je oh, and the seven, somebody's trying to get away with some kind of competition or some kind of jealousy. Somebody's trying to get away with something here. Or look, and burden you the freak down with the 10 of torches. You're going to be resilient though. This is, you know, the 10 of, that's the 10 of wands. That's a lot of burdens, but you're going to be victorious. So you got the six of torches. So listen, just in case some of you, because it is worldwide, have some kind of a younger, and if they're not younger, they are extremely immature because the Prince of Torches is, it's a prince. It's like, you know, it's like dealing with a kid, you know, they're in, they're out, they're all over the place. They, they're just, it's a, a very frenetic energy. I'm hearing frenetic. They can put you in competition. It's going to be an uphill battle the whole way. Yeah. It's going to be like going, like going, looking for King Kong in the jungle. This is what I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Look at this with the seven of Somebody trying to get away with something. Somebody's going to be beating somebody off with a stick here. You're going to have to defend yourself at all times because something's going on in Denmark, right? Seven of Torches, we're talking about, you know, competition. I might talk, this is a lot of competition here. It's going to be a burden. It's going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to come with a lot of baggage, a lot of competition, a lot of jealousy, a lot of fighting. Do you need this? No, okay? Something about a crescent moon, something about a scarf that somebody wears around their neck. You're going to be victorious over this. Just, you know, with this two of swords, don't be in denial. See it for what it is. I'm seeing Saturn, the rings of Saturn. Maybe you need some rest. Let's stop. Let's stop. All right, so here. Let's clarify, Cancer. I'm trying not to make these too long. The most predominant so far on the board is Leo and Taurus. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what to do. Clarify that top row. Here, we're going to put that back because it was like half of a deck. Clarify the top row, Spirit and Ancestors. Let's go. We'll show them what they need to see. Well, right away. Okay, so look. You know in tarot... You got to read, you got to take, you have to respect when they come in on a shelf. I call it on a shelf, whatever you say. It's on a freaking shelf to me. So, some of you are just healing from this emotional pain. You got some kind of emotional pain, okay? The three of swords was upright. You could have been stuck in some kind of third party situation. Obviously, that's the most, you know, but not necessarily. Whatever, however, you got emotional pain. Because it sucks no matter what kind of emotional pain it is. And nobody could measure somebody's emotional pain to the neck. It was there. It was real. Somebody's heart was bleeding. Okay? I mean, really, this is agony. Somebody was in the... Yeah, oh, God. What a... what a It was a dead forest. So, anyway. Blood. All right? You're healing from this. And also, you see how the Ten of Wands came in on the shelf? This came with a lot of baggage, burdens, responsibilities. I mean, you name it. It was uphill all the way. You're on your way down the hill now. You see this? And you even got this little nice oxen to help you. <laughs> Mirroring oxen. Oh my God, I'm seeing ri bags of rice. Big, big bags of rice. Like like in this in the Chinese market. I'm also seeing a brown suitcase. What the hell is going on with that? Here we go. All right, so let's see, Cancer. What is going on? Now, okay. This could have been with somebody that, male, female, queen of wands in reverse, is somebody who's jealous, deceitful, narcissistic. They cheat, they lie, they blame it on you. They're manipulative, they throw tantrums, they're a bully. That's a bitch on wheels. That's what that one is. Yes, it is, okay? Sorry to tell you, but that's how it goes. Queen of Wands in reverse is a bitch on wheels. Now, you got the Six of Swords. Six of Swords talks about accepting your lessons and moving your ass on down. The yeah, it does. You know, moving on down. 
So, yeah, somebody could have a rowboat, like a little brown rowboat or a little rowboat. Somebody's got a red scarf. This is Six of Swords is, you know, transitioning, moving on. You're moving on from this energy. You're getting over whatever burdens. You're recovering from this, whatever, you know, and you're also getting over whatever emotional pain, okay? And it had to do with some kind of a... Somebody that had five in their chart that was a bitch on wheels, even if it was a guy. It was a bitch, okay? I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. Wow, my spirit's not even fooling around today. Okay, look at what we have here. We have one of the cards in there. We're leaving it in there. Yes, we are. Spirit said, leave that card. Okay, here we go. Let's go. So we got, yeah, let's see. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here. Here we go. So, oh, look. Because you want to come out of conflict here. Maybe this person wants to come out of conflict. They could have been a Leo, specifically. Maybe somebody wants to reunite now. Look, because they see you excited. Oh, you want to know what this is? They see you weeping the... There you go. All right, look at this. This is... Somebody sees you as the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy for I am being rewarded for my efforts. I am living the life. Somebody has a white dress. Somebody's got a real curly, uh, like, afro. It looks really beautiful. Listen to me. This is monetary and material wealth. Okay, success. It's the nine of pentacles. It comes right before the ten. You, need I say more? So maybe this is somebody that you moved away from that was a real bitch. <laughs> we'll say it again. Possibly somebody, hi Leo, in top four, I'm telling you, that had you in a third party situation, burdened you down with God knows what. God knows what. Now they want to reunite because they see you successful. Cancer, you're not going to fall for this shit. There's no way. Not my cancers. Nope, nope, nope. Here we go. Yeah, look. Page of cops. So here comes the good news or a message. Some kind of... Yeah, and when pigs fly, right? <laughs> I'm saying. When pigs fly. Wow, you're good. Yeah, you, you look at... Listen, you th look at the face on this person like, yeah, right. Take this shit someplace else. You gotta be kidding me. This person... <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Oh my God, I'm getting kissed the soles of my shoes. Ooh, maybe this person... You're gonna make them kiss the soles of your shoes now for whatever they did in the past to get you there. Oh my God. What is going on here? Okay, so, here we go. Look, <laughs> didn't I tell you more? They're coming with the roses. They're coming with the roses. They're coming with their sleeves, you know, folded up so you can see all the tattoos on their biceps. I'm hearing they've been working on their biceps. Cancer. Yeah. Look at this one. Yep, watch out. I mean, listen, I ain't gonna lie. This one could be hot. Yeah, I'm hearing hot, hot. But, you know, too hot, baby. Yeah, this one's too hot, baby. But guess what? Be careful. Because while the Knight of Cups usually isn't nefarious, it's an innocent, you know, kindly, like, big brother type energy. They're coming in, they got feelings, but they're not, like, you know, they're not nefarious. This could be somebody posing. <laughs> this is a poser. Yeah, they're going to send you good news. And somebody might be getting roses. I'm not even kidding. Somebody might be going on a picnic. I'm seeing an orange blanket, a bottle of red wine, and some kind of a note. Let's see. What the hell? So, you know, if this is somebody coming back around, I, you know, listen. If this is somebody coming back around, stay mindful when somebody shows you who they are, you know, and if you keep drawing lines no matter what, maybe because they see you successful now, you don't, you know, just don't be in denial about this. Don't be in denial that they might be coming around just because they, you know, yeah, they see you in some kind of successful position. This could be an opportunist. I'm hearing incubus succubus. Yeah, this is a bottom feeder. Look, leave this one out in the cold. Five and <laughs> I'm telling you, they could be coming to get you for your money too. Tiberius, honey, please. We can't do that. Um, no. Tibbs, 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 honey, please go. Okay, now Delilah's gonna go. But the question is, look at Delilah. She's three freaking pounds. She's gonna protect. Who's gonna protect her? Me. I have to protect her. Anyway, listen. That's neither here nor there. You got the Five of Pentacles. So Five of Pentacles talks about. Look at this one. I'm looking over at the money, right? This person wants to either leave you broke in some way, take your money. What am I telling you? Or that you know, Five of Pentacles talks about being left out in the cold. So, you know, or you, you know what? Spirit's telling you, leave, be strong here and leave this one out in the cold. Unless it's this new king of swords coming in. Okay? Here, there's going to be a surprise and a shock. Something you don't see coming, Scorpio energy. So there's the tower. Something's disintegrated. Let me see. I don't know what this could be. Oh, look at this. Now, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. I'm not even going to, you know. Straight up, like, um, with the sun. Something, whatever, listen, I'm going to tell you one thing. You see how those cards came out on top of each other? The definition of the tower is a surprise, a shock, something you don't see coming. Now, usually it's something life-altering. But it could be good or bad. It doesn't, nobody, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a surprise and a shock. The tower is some kind of, um, 
Unless it's in reverse, of course. It's a destruction. But not all destruction is bad. Something unexpected. Could be very tra traumatic, for good or for bad, right? I mean, like, if you won the lottery, you'd have a heart attack. That's traumatic, right? You see what I'm saying? It could be something that confuses you. You know, it doesn't always have to be a disaster or a tragedy. Now, coming in with the sun, whatever the freak this tower is, boy, are you going to be happy? You are going to be happy. This is going to make you happy. Why? Because the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Something might, is going to be illuminated to you. I'm going to tell you something. Some of you are going to find out something's going to make you so freaking happy. Look at that lightning bolt coming straight down and straight down. Okay? Right into this person. They're, they're, and yeah, something's going to be illuminated here. Now, let's see what it is. Now, this could be about somebody that left you out in the cold or even messed up your finances. Or, or maybe, you know, for some of you, Spirit says it's going to be, you're going to see it clearly. The illum that this person is just trying to come around because of something that they see you doing or having that looks like you're on the Nine of Pentacles. You know what I mean? So this whole posing bullshit and these flowers, I'm hearing paper roses. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, somebody's bringing paper roses? Get out of here. Yeah, okay, the Emperor. So now, all right, look. This could have something to do with somebody that has Aries and Leo in their chart and Scorpio, or perhaps you do. They, you know, the Emperor, listen, whoever this Emperor is, the point is, this emperor takes control of a situation, all right? They're the boss. They're stable, dependable, structured. And let me tell you something. That's the top of the game. There's nothing better than the emperor. After that, it's source. They are, you know, efficient, organized, loved. They run the whole place, like the whole place impeccably, all right? Everybody's Gucci in this situation. But it's also somebody that's going to take control of a situation and has their shit together and emotionally mature, you know, mentally mature, just completely... This is on point. There's nothing better than the Emperor. So, something could be illuminated to you about somebody that's there in their chart or Leo or whatever this... You know how Tower goes if you're watching it. These are really good cards. You know, this Tower is not a bad Tower. Some of you are going to be detaching and walking away. Now, whatever this is, maybe some of you are going to detach and walk away or somebody's going to because this Emperor looks like they're looking at this person's back. <gasps> yeah. Okay, I'm seeing a catfish. Oh, what? I'm seeing a catfish, yeah. Be careful nobody's trying to catfish you, Cancer. I'm seeing a catfish. Where'd that come from? All right, well, yeah. I'm seeing something about the sunset. All right, here we go. So, okay. Now you got the King of Swords in reverse. Let me tell you something. The King of Swords in reverse is the coldest person you're ever going to meet in your life. This is somebody who's manipulative. This is somebody who plays games with you mentally just to, you know, like, they don't know how to be honest. This is a cruel son of a bitch, okay? That one's didn't, you know... Yeah, this one's a cruel son of a bitch over here. This is the King of Swords, oh boy. Yeah, this is somebody calculating. This is somebody that's very, um, oh God, I hate this King of Swords. Ruthless. They are ruthless. They're dishonest. They're controlling. They abuse you mentally. They play games with you, with you mentally just to see how you react, just for shits and giggles. This this is, yeah, you don't want to deal with this person. This person's an asshole, okay? Now you got an asshole on the board. Yep. They're smart, though. I'm not gonna, I mean, I got to give it to them. The King of Swords is smart, whether they're in reverse or not. But in reverse, they're so smart that they, you know, they manipulate in a very bad way. They're cruel on purpose. This is somebody that, like, would beat a dog. Really, like, just, you know, would pinch a kid when nobody's looking. Like, yeah, it's a son of a bitch. I don't like this person. Let's get past this energy because I'm getting angry. You know. Yeah, what are we doing here? So, this is why. Yeah, why? Because there's no passion anyway. Somebody lost the spark under their ass. I'm feeling like this is you. Something's going to be a woman that's going to make you very happy. You're going to take control of the situation and walk away from somebody that you already lost the passion from that's very manipulative. That could have left you out in the cold. And, and, and you see it for what it is. Maybe they just want to be around you for your money. So, like, this is going to be the end. By the time this is over, this three of swords is going to be completely in reverse because you're going to see things for what they are. Yes, you are, Cancer. Trust me on this one. Here we go. Look, you got the Ace of Cups. Yeah, in reverse. This is a missed opportunity. Unrequited love. I mean, yeah. See what I'm saying? And it kind of came in like this, which means, yeah, you know, you're done with this. There's an emptiness here. This, this is, yeah, I'm hearing doom and gloom. Oh, my God. Here we go. All right. So we're going to take it. Here we go. So now there's going to be a breakthrough of judgment. You're going to make a decision. Then you're going to go manifest whatever it is you want. All right, the magician. This is somebody that, that's very resourceful, very inspired. They take action. They have willpower. They have logic and skill. So they make things happen. They actually do the alchemizing, okay? So you're manifesting something anyway. That's what you're, you know, you're worried about anyway. Let me see it. This is going to be the last. All right. I'll get you a couple of kippers. By the way, let me get you a, a binaural bead as well. If you lasted this long, thank you so much for hitting the like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Right, Spirit really doesn't want anything else out here. Look at this. Seriously. 
All right, we'll take this one. Yeah. So you got the three of wands in reverse. Uh, you know, there might be... Three of wands in reverse could talk about a distance between you and a person or a place. Um, three of wands in reverse also talks about a lack of progress or maybe some kind of restriction. Something might move a little slow here. You could have a couple of obstacles, but you're going to be okay. Oh, because you're walking away still from this painful ending. Look at this. You're walking away with your back, with your head up, standing tall and your shoulders back. God bless you. Okay, you're not bleeding to death lying there like you can't even get up because of what somebody did to you. This is a strong person right here. And you're walking right into your nine of cups, wish fulfillment, emotional, yeah, happiness. I mean, contentment and joy. Look at this. Could be with the Gemini specifically, but there's going to be a decision made. Something's going to move rapidly forward fast. That is a Capricorn energy for toxicity. Watch out about it. And it's going to be love. Look what you have. King cups twice. It's in your energy right now, and this is where I'm leaving it. Look, it's a wish come true. I'm telling you. And it's it's going to help you heal. It's a wish come true. This king of cups, look, he's back. Guess who's back, but he's not shady. All right. At the bottom, Gemini, for the lovers, you're going to have to make a decision. Let's get you a binaural beat. 528 or 825 or 258, whatever the hell you want to do it. It's uh, the solar plexus. It stimulates love. 528 megahertz. Show me uh, cancer, please, and thank you. All right. So there's a new pathway opening up to a lot of you, 35 or 8. That's Leo energy. Again, somebody's thinking about somebody here. Somebody could be an artist, any kind, a painter or a graphic artist. Somebody's somebody's thinking about somebody like, it's, and this is like somebody's muse. Somebody got brown hair. Somebody could wear a vest. Somebody likes to wear a vest. Here you go. You got a main male. Again, with the brown hair and the, uh, you know, facial hair. I'm getting, like, Western vibes, like, old Western vibes, like, maybe somebody could be from the West. All right, well, yeah, yeah it could be a thief. Be careful. You got 24, 6, some kind of thief. Oh, I'm hearing thief of your heart. But anyway, somebody could be working in tandem. Yeah. Uh, there's somebody, that, it's a community, could be a community far away, could be any kind of community. You're in the tarot community right now, right? 39 and 12. Anything else for cancer? All right, let me see. Here we go. You have 33 or 6 years. Somebody's concerned because they're overthinking about somebody. This is probably a main male that lives in a different community. The new pathway is going to open up. And, you know, there could be somebody that's up to some sketchy shit or more than one person. Or this could be somebody who just wants to steal your heart. Somebody could wear a pocket watch. Somebody's in some kind of poverty. Look, look, be careful, okay? Just in case it's not somebody that wants to steal your heart and is trying to pick your pockets. They're going to wind up going to court. Somebody could be passing away. All right, look, that's the end of that. Cancer, thank you again. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.